All right, this project here is uh, a Halloween project. You're actually going to stick these eyes into this skull. Professor Vinster here. I'm uh, just about to uh, start to make... Actually, I have these eyeballs that I'm working on. I don't know if... There you go. Here, they can see them here. Now, I need the glass to go in here. I have an insert that I'm going to pop in here to take up the space. And we're going to test this out because I'm making this Halloween skull. So we're going to give that a shot. <clears throat> so we have this set up here and uh, we're going to cut some these two uh, eyes out here. We're going to actually put the glue on them. I'm going to put my <clears throat> things down here. My magnifier glasses. And then we're going to get my glue out. Okay. So first of all we have to Take this off. I protect it with this so that it doesn't dry up. That's if you can see it. If you can't see it, you gotta go with my word. We'll see if we got a good clear. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we should be good. Okay, and we want these ones right here. So we're gonna put a dot right there. A dot right there. One might have a little more than the other. And then, of course, you have the, the glass right here that goes in them. So I'm going to put those in right now on there and get what I want. And if you see if in the one, you can tell that the pupil gets bigger. You put it up because they're magnified. And then I'll push that down there. There we go. I think there's I thought there was a scratch there. It looks a little bubbled. Yeah, looks alright. Must be the reflection of. Okay, so there's the eyes. Okay. I don't know if my hand's gonna be in the way or not. Maybe I should change the blade, but I think it's sharp it should be sharp enough. I just changed it, so. Hopefully I got enough. This cardstock is pretty thick. Which is better because when you glue them in it's, it works a lot better. So that should be... There we go. So there's the eye right there. I'm going to put it in this camera here. There's the eye. Cut out. Okay, so I'll put that there for now and let's see if we can cut the other one out. Not that we. Normally I spin it around, but for the camera, I don't want to spin it around too much. Let's see, we got it. Actually, we screwed that one up. That one you can actually... It didn't take the backing off. Which I've done before. Which I think will be okay. If we put that in there, I think it'll be alright. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if you can see that there. there. Yeah. It's fine. I think I'm going to have to go a little bit. A little bit higher though. Oops. Oh, I got it stuck underneath there. Come on. What I should do is take the, the rest of the backing off, or I'll actually put, yeah, that's, that's because the glue, the glue got it uh, wet. So what I'll do is I'll put some more glue on it and put that backing back on it. Fix it properly. I'm going to put some glue in here. 
end in there. And hopefully we'll roll it around. I'll roll it around so that you can see that actually. We'll put that in there. Like that. And that in there. Like that. The rosin epoxy. And it's a uh, UV light activated with this UV light here. And we will put the eyes in. Now this is the first time I've used this method. I'm going to put a bit in there because I want it a little thicker. So they hopefully you can see this. Oh, come on. I want it to overflow a little bit. Okay. Now this stuff here, this I am going to put this in here, like that, and this one in here, like that. And I don't mind, like I said, if it overflows a bit, perfect. I can wipe it off, do whatever I have to do. Then we give it a shot with the light. And that should harden it up. Like that. And of course we'll let that sit overnight. Then we're going to clean the eyes up around and then actually put some other like the eye veins in and stuff like that. So the UV that should do the trick I believe. So they look pretty good. Let's see if we get this focused. Let's see like that. There we go. Beauties. So and then we'll show it up here. There's one of the eyes. So looks pretty good. And the other one. There you go. And put them back down there. Focus, focus. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the eyeballs. I don't really want them white because it's supposed to look like an old skull to a point with eyes. So I'm going to just give it a try this yellowy color. So we're giving it a light coat of like more like a not like an off white but an off yellow. Or an off yellow, yeah, an off yellow. That makes more sense. Now we can only do a bit at a time. Unless I hold on to the glass and then just do that. So I figured out where I was going to hold it so I can do this whole thing. From the glass and the bottom where I'm going to glue it. So that should do it. If I can put it down properly. A little bit on the fingers. But hey. You could stick this onto something to hold it like a stick from underneath and then be able to turn it but I seem to always do things the difficult way okay I'm gonna put some of this uh, in the eyeball section love the color actually
Now I didn't prime this for the reason of I don't mind. I sanded it a bit. I don't mind the way it looks and I don't mind the white coming through the, the actual yellow. Like I said, this paint is very thin. So this will give you an idea. Now with the bright light, I can calm the light down a bit here. Let's see if I can calm the light down. There you go. We'll calm the light down so you can actually see it a little better. Because I print with the, with the white, the camera, of course, light, white is a reflector, so it's hard to uh, hard to see it on the camera but that should help a lot and you got the idea of that so I can go on and then show you it when it's all painted I should be using a bigger brush to get it done faster. Sometimes, let me see here, bigger brush. How about this one? Nope, too big. <laughs> okay, let's, this, actually this is one of my favorite ones right here. Let's see how it handles it. Oh yeah, there you go. That'll do it. Now, with this, I don't care which way it goes on because this is not going to be the final color. And you got to watch it with the, with the water-based paint because you don't want to keep going over it too much until it's dry or you'll wipe it right back off. And that's not what you want. So I'll keep this in the frame without painting myself with the brush while I turn it. Like I said, if you go over it too much before it's dry, it'll just wipe it right back off again. A little bit at a time. So we got it pretty well all this off white yellowy color that I think is decent. I can probably move this around with the brush a bit. Turn it around. See what I missed. Like I said, this is just the base coat and there's going to be more on top of this. I want to get this done. So I'll put that brush in the water. It's rough, but it's pretty, pretty good to do what I'm doing it for. Okay, put that one down. Pick this one up. Okay, I know we're upside down here, but let's see, this is the eye socket here, this one's this one, so if I turn it like that, okay, so what I want to do is I want to put these eye socket, these eyes in, so I'm going to use my epoxy, uh, well, my, sorry, my rosin, this is not epoxy, and I have my glasses on. Hopefully I get enough on it that'll do the trick here. So it doesn't feel like enough. It doesn't even feel like it's touching there. Nope. So we gotta go around the outside over here. Okay, dookie. That's better, much better. So 
We'll have that, that, that. We'll clean the eye up later. Sometimes it's easier once you got it in because you, you know what you're working with. Don't worry, we want the guy's eyes face screwy looking or let's see if we can get some of this in there. eyeballing I don't know if you can see that you can especially with the, the light on but there's the eyeball now I'm gonna make it so it sticks Let's see if we got a little bit of movement there that's not bad it's not bad sometimes you gotta improvise so we'll put that like that maybe there we go so we'll let that sit on there for now I know it's not in the greatest view here, but you gotta put glue on the other one. And like we always do, we'll get glue on the fingers. Put that in there like that. I was gonna get one eye sticking off to one side, but We'll go for uniform to start to a point. Didn't help with the strap in the way. Starting to set up. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. So the eyes are kind of going off to one side. Let's see there. There you go. So we're getting there. So I can move them a bit. Oh no, it's actually there. Well, this one can be moved a bit. them up like this so we can keep the eyes in the direction we want them to go until they set up there we go so this gives you an idea of how the eyes went in this is for Halloween so it's going to be in the dark but normally I'd take more time on something like this and do the eyeballs a little more detailed and stuff and I will do another one that's uh, going to be really cool but I'll do that off camera to a point or on a camera when I'll just speed it up but I'm trying to get it so that you guys can see so you can do your own projects too I mean mostly that you're going to watch this are 3D printers but some don't touch a paintbrush very often and and yeah it's it's rough but I'm hoping you're going to get the idea at the end it should look really good so yeah once we get there I'm always about the end result um, even with painters when they paint pictures they don't like to see you to see the part where they call it's the awkward the parts where it's it doesn't look like there's no detail and it looks like it's just somebody threw paint at it to a point where yeah it's called the awkward stage I th I'm not sure if you if somebody wants to comment below what they call it uh, when they're painting, um, to me it's the awkward part. So finished product's always better. So anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe.